How's it going everybody? Off for your back with another video on Final Fantasy. I know it's been a while, but we are here now. So I hope you guys are as excited as me to continue this journey. Oh. Our destination lies over that dune, beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. You run in, bro. Many years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. Did you think those soldiers were? Oh, what? Lord Cook has made his move. Come on now. I expect that's why they're so Faster! The red chocobos? We're almost there. Ah, there she is. The good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? Okay. And wants to walk everywhere, Jesus. Oh. Black chocobos. Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from stone here. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Toggle. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Yeah. <laughs> so what the hell, man? I go with you everywhere. You can straight out tell what's going on. Good day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? <laughs> What the hell's going on here? Oh, Joshua! <coughs> this dude's still sick. He has ultimate inside of his body, right? Your Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. 
I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. But you must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. The hell's going on? Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you! This fool. Bruh, this fool. You wrote it out my finger. Oh! Uncle. Sorry. He ruined it. Oh, I smashed my finger. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. Are you walk, Marty? You are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Not sparing shit, friend. Who is hungry? <laughs> to lose Friend. damn stay back uncle gladly <laughs> it was like yeah for sure i'll finish up my drink <laughs> here it goes got them all up and then try it and then Oh my lord. Oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So far from home. Easy peasy. Okay. Shut up over there. Oh my god. <sighs> we are trouble. <laughs> uh, word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This dude. I miss his brother. Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine. What the hell's wrong with him? Here somewhere, Clive. Just missed him. Just barely. What is it now? It means nothing. Let's go. Hello, bro. I have a feeling that man's gonna die. to find Kupka before, we do now. The rulers said to themselves, their guest is enough. The hell? We need to get through, bro. Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the Desert Hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. Mm. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. You know, talk to them? Mm. Speak to Looks people. like we won't be getting back to Drake's family anytime soon. You. Light it for Gilbert's you. sake. Anything I can allow me. My good man, we represent one of... We're seeking to expand our... Hmm, well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you... Thank you. Oh, um, no. Well... Oh, chest. You lady. What do you want? I won't keep you long. A woman by the name of Rosie. Never heard of her. One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town... Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. I won't find a finer smithy this side of the... Skeon is only a young sprig. Beats the Briar's Kiss, you say? Ah. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. 
You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. This dude. Mommy, I want to play with the crystal. <clears throat> Can I help you? Yes. I'm look a long-standing pillar of your community, I believe. Then you should ask. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. Try the baths. That's where you thank you. Well, it sounds like we Wild have goose our chase. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this photo knows. Hanging lanterns. Excuse you, sir. Daddy. Excuse me. I am. I hope so. You've lived. You know Rosina Dalamil. And what business? She was a close friend of mine. I was very well. Go to the bordello. Bordello. Do you think we can trust him? Only no. As far as I think he trusts. So you're the ones who've been sniffing. I beg your pardon. Don't play the. F Stick your nose in our business. Hmm. You want to get the smoke too, huh? Not that time. Enemy. Oh. Oh, let's go a little bit sooner than a water. Combos on people. Okay, I remember how to play, which is a good thing. Who are you working for? Him or her? He wanted us, though one could hardly call that. Lord Ferda? Look what the... Your skill with a blade is rare. A fitting talent for an outlaw. Mm. You know who I am. So what now? That isn't my... Our work is... Take him to meet his precious Rosina. Yes. To the Lock of Leisure, then. To the Lock of Leisure. Why are you trying to test me? Made from the stoutest stoneware. We're gonna fight again. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. The most fragrant herbs and the finest. Is this the pl Ubo's forge? Ah, so it was the. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. Sorry. Whoever this Lubor truly is. He see that he gets it. What? What do you say? He needs to get smacked around one more time. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> what laughing at us for? Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why, trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. What? And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. The hill? I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. This dude. I'm a busy man, as you can see. You're straight talking shit. What the hell? Let's leave this mama to his farce. 
By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to Bro, conclusions. Bro, he knows too so much. Just kill him. Why you? Just kill him. What? We already whooped your ass once. So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. What the? Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. <laughs> we might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Unless. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than watch did. My apologies. Follow the cop, oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making. Oh, Christ. Ha! It will be easy. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this. Prioritize. Twing. All right. I we were we were the only ones causing trouble in Dalamil. There's somebody out here. Yo, what are you doing? Excuse me. You've heard. I've heard rumors. Damn, pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill up. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share. And it isn't, is it? One down. It's over here. Excuse me, sir. Do you... Depends what for. Just a question. Well, we're a stone's throw from the soldiers guarding the mother crystal in the shipment's need of the men of the rock throw their money about. Is that so? No mas. Come on, come on. Into the chamber. Excuse me, miss. Let me know what you know what I before I throw you overboard. Need that sort of... I'm... Oh, then be off with you. I serve you. Don't be stupid. I just know I don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. Look, no, just leave. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. What was all that crashing and banging about? Not again. It's you. What do you want? Haven't you? I'm looking for my pal. The gentleman who is with you. Thank you. Why she gotta blame us? They're the one that attacked us. What the? This way. That's not it. All right. Treat you. I need to drink. I'm going the wrong way. Look here. So what? Do I go this way and then go left? Oh, there he is.
Will this suffice? By the sands. One of the many treasures in my collection that All right. But not what he ate him. <laughs> He's vibing the dude. Ah, there was something. Else. You, sir. Care to explain what you bait, my boy? And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I start. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystal. So the pup. <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would have a small price to pay for it. That's enough about my little act. That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And so meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been... I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere. I'll wager you'll we'll meet with them then. And put an end to the... Ha! That preening poppin' jay. It just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We... I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy. And jump off? Far nope. from prying eyes. No, no. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. That is far, bro. I ah. trust I can count on your support if things turn sour. <laughs> of course. Jesus. Why is the tavern shut? No chocolate ball yet. Go now. Good girl. Ah, uh, he went the wrong way, didn't I? Yep. Yeah. Fly, Ambrosia. Back to the stables, girl. Whack. Okay. Now we can Faster. go. The red chocobos for sure. Just trying to avoid all the fighting, just go straight to the... I'm supposed to go. Very secluded section. It looks like a trap. I'll take it from here. He's walking slow as hell. Holy. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Damn. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road... Because these crystals are no longer the property of the... You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than... But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing. No. Royalists. Eh? Why? To collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies. And being such good friends. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty bound not to interfere. Did you get all that? They're in. 
My lord. Double crossing dogs. Kill them. Kill them both. That's what you think. Come on. Come on. Get off the rock. It's not over yet, Uncle. I'm just getting warmed up. Don't you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. <laughs> Greybeard, you were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade. Him. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the Rock taking Crystal's men for the common folk. And... Well. Indeed, the people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of address against Koopka's men. Until you two Nice. Just helped out a bunch of people. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. Easy money. It occurs to me that I still don't... Clive. <laughs> so sick. Well, Clive, you held up your end of... To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue. And those left behind have been encouraged. Thank you. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I s Oh. And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord... No. Thank you very much. Greybeard. <laughs> Double the here. See you. Nice. Any friend of mine who sees you with Thank you. And please feel free to send one of my stolices. Tell them that Rosina Dalamir. Oh me lost Delan. To his Achilles. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Very nice. Now to continue forward. Well then, 
I would thank you. Not at all. Come on, Uncle. Quest complete. Alright. Now, time to go forward. Yes, they're quite fresh bread, warm from the oven. <laughs> Sweet, open. Silver platters. Sweet inside. Ha! They've opened the gate. Lubor was true to his word. We should get going soon. Ah, I'm not too late. The hell? What is it, Lubor? A question that I. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. <sighs> Then allow me to. Drake's Fang is currently riddled. Talmeki and Walud are allies, and as you've seen, they're so. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holy. Not by choice. And there's more. A man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the. <laughs> Isn't there? All... If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. Dang. I plan on dying. Well, so long as you have a plan. <laughs> Bro, I can swear this dude's gonna die. Let's go. I am Drake's fang, should be beyond these springs. Shall we press on? Oh yeah, we're pressing on, all right. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Potion. Everything's going good so far. Oh, why? Oh, obelisk activated. There it is. Drake's Fang. Oh, damn. Kuku will be hiding inside. Along with goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert, you'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, Uncle. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. After what befell at Phoenix Gate, and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. Damn. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however. No. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight. To build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Only later did I realize 
That spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know? <laughs> Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. <sighs> well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then, go safely, Uncle. And you, nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I shall expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> you can regale me too, Torgal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for you, Kupka. Oh, yes, went into Drake's Fang. Lake in the middle? Oh, man. He can't even use his hands. Shan't hurt you any longer. He sought to humiliate. Who is this guy, bro? Lord of the, Lord of the Lord Commander of the Kingdom of Walud's armies, the company is least of force. So you try and look. Me? If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead. You uh, truly believe you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust. And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! You weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. Now we have a name. Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. <sighs> But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. Just tell me. What of it? 
A mother crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But then, you are no ordinary man, are you, Hugo? Clive Rossfield stole your power, but others have suffered a similar fate, and still managed to find the strength to conjure their icon. Like Benedicta Harmon. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. The hill? She did. See what happens. Run along now, Hugo. You need only follow the light. Muthos is here. Very well. It shall be so. What the? Who are you, bro? You may leave everything to me, your majesty. Who is he? What the hell are they? Orcs. Orcs? Dudes are beefy, bro. Did the royalists bring them from ash? Into the darkness. All right, all right, that's it, that's it. Can't, that's it. Tight channeled. Sweet. All right, everybody, hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. And as always, catch you guys in the next one. Afrika is out. Peace.